In the realm where whispers of the wind carry more weight than the decrees of time, Serenitia emerged from the silence of space like a dream blossoms from the depths of sleep. It was a world suspended between the fabric of reality and the tapestry of imagination, where each dawn was painted with the softest brushes of celestial light. The heart of Serenitia beat with the rhythm of a gentle storm, a tempest so serene that it was the breath of life itself. Within this eternal maelstrom, thunder did not roar but hummed with the melodies of a distant orchestra, a symphony composed by the cosmos and conducted by the elements. Raindrops descended not with fury, but with the grace of a thousand ballet dancers, each droplet a note in the planetary opus that soaked the land with a life-giving cadence. The clouds, great canvases of vapor, shifted in hues of amethyst and gold, reflecting the world's inherent luminescence. The inhabitants of this tranquil haven were ethereal beings of light and mist, born from the heartbeats of the storm. They fluttered through the air, their translucent wings resonating with the vibrations of the thunder, their essence interwoven with the very pulses of Serenitia. The beings converge upon the eye of the storm, a sacred space where the tempest's power was most potent. Here, they began their daily ritual, crafting dreams out of the storm song to send to the restless souls of distant worlds, offering them the gift of peaceful slumber. On a day unlike any other, when the storm sang a melody that quivered with an unfamiliar note, a stir of anticipation whispered through Serenitia. The beings of light felt a tremor within their core, a signal of an impending transformation that the winds of change were ushering in. Amidst the swirling symphony of the storm, a solitary figure emerged, clad in a cloak that shimmered with droplets of rain, each a prismatic universe. This traveler was unlike the residents, solid and defined, a child of stars and stories, seeking the wisdom of the tempest. The beings gathered around the newcomer, their forms flickering with curious luminescence. The traveler spoke of distant realms and stars that sang of sorrow. In their hands they held an ancient artifact, a locket that pulsed with the echoes of a thousand silent heartbeats. The eye of the storm pulsed more fervently, resonating with the artifact's rhythm. A connection formed, a bridge between the heart of Serenitia and the heartaches of galaxies far beyond. It was as if the storm itself had found a new voice, a new song to weave into its eternal lullaby. As the beings of Serenitia and the Traveller join in a silent communion, their energies merging. The storm above mirrors their unity, casting a radiant aurora across the sky, signalling the birth of a new epoch in the annals of the cosmos. The Traveller's tales stirred the slumbering lore of Serenitia, awakening ancient hymns etched in the very essence of the realm. As the storm's crescendo built, the locket opened, revealing a crystalline heart that pulsed with a light that was neither of Serenitia nor of the stars, but something in between. This heart, the Traveller revealed, was a fragment of the primordial symphony, an artifact of immense power that maintained harmony between the myriad universes. Its presence in Serenitia was no accident, it was destiny, a cosmic confluence that the storm had foretold through its arcane rhythms. The beings of Serenitia, who had known only the serenade of the Tempest, found themselves enraptured by a new melody. The crystalline heart sang of balance and unity, its notes weaving through the storm, softening its roar to a gentle hum, infusing the chaos with order. As the new symphony embraced the realm, the very nature of the Tempest began to evolve. It no longer spoke of wrath and fury. Instead, it whispered of creation and infinite possibilities, its lightning painting stories of creation in the sky. As the celestial aria crescendos, culminating in a harmonious fusion of storm and silence of light and shadow, Serenitia and the Traveller, now bonded by the primordial symphony, stood ready to embrace their role as guardians of harmony, the eye of the storm their witness and their charge. The primordial symphony's influence spread like a warm embrace, its melody seeping into the soil, the flora and the fauna of Serenitia. Each drop of rain began to carry the tune, and the foliage danced gently, shedding their old hues for vibrant new spectrums 
that mirrored the heart's light. The traveler, who had been a mere sojourner, found themselves the conductor of a grand orchestra that was Serenitia itself. With each gesture, the tempest's winds carried new notes, crafting a lullaby that soothed the once restless energies of the realm. Under this enchantment, the inhabitants of Serenitia discovered latent harmonies within themselves, a shared song that had been silent for eons. They gathered in circles, paw and hand in hand, their voices joining in a chorus that rose above the clouds, a counterpoint to the thunder. The storm, now a gentle giant, cradled the realm in a rhythmic dance. It was as if Serenitia had been reborn, its destiny no longer whispered by the winds, but declared in the anthem that resonated through every corner of the cosmos. The eye of the storm, once a harbinger of isolation, now gazed upon a connected world. The traveler and the beings of Serenitia, in their newfound unity, looked towards the horizon, ready to share the gift of the primordial symphony with realms beyond their own. The final movement of the primordial symphony was upon Serenitia, a crescendo that wove every individual melody into a tapestry of shared destiny. The traveler, once a silent witness to the storm's fury, now stood at the heart of a realm transformed by music's unifying power. As the symphony reached its zenith, the eye of the storm shed its last tear, a gemstone that held the essence of Serenitia. It fell into the traveler's open palm, a symbol of trust and the key to sharing the symphony with worlds afar. The beings of Serenitia, from the tiniest sprout to the grandest elder tree, thrummed with a vibrant energy. They were no longer creatures of the storm, but of the symphony. Their voices an eternal echo of the traveler's odyssey. The storm itself whispered its gratitude, its essence dispersing into a zephyr that carried the seeds of Serenitia's legacy across the stars. The traveler knew their journey was not at an end, but the beginning of a new chapter in the annals of the cosmos. And so, under a sky painted with the colors of dawn, Serenitia and the traveler bade farewell to the Tempest's serenade. In its place, a harmonious silence prevailed, a space within which new songs would be born, new storms braved and new symphonies created.